Hey everyone, in this course, you learn how to create a third person melee combat system in Unity with features like combos, counter attacks, intelligent enemy AI and all that. We'll design the system in a modular, data driven and scalable way using clean coding practices. So you'll not really learn how to build the system in this course, but you'll also learn lots of valuable game programming concepts that you can use throughout your career. So the combat system that we're going to create will be a free flow combat system. That means the enemy won't attack the player mindlessly. Instead, they'll attack in a coordinated way by circling around the player and attacking one at a time. This is a type of combat system used in most of the modern day games like Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham series, Marvel Spider-Man, etc. The combat system that we build will also be easily customizable. So if you want to use punch and kick attacks instead of sword attacks, you can easily do that without changing a single line of code. So let's look at what all we cover in this course. We'll start by making a basic third person controller. We'll not use any assets for it. We'll build it completely from scratch because it's a good way to learn the fundamentals of gameplay programming. And then we'll start building the combat system on top of our third person character. So first we'll give our character the ability to attack. The attacks will be architected using scriptable objects in Unity, so this will make it designer friendly and designers will be able to create and edit attack combos without changing any code. Then we'll start building the enemy AI. We'll architect the enemy AI using a finite state machine. It's a technique that's been used for building AI in games for the last 25 years. It's used in popular games like Last of Us. Batman Arkham series and many more. So we'll build a finite state machine from scratch and create our enemies using it. We'll start by creating simple behaviors of the enemy like staying idle and chasing the player. And then we'll implement more advanced behaviors like circling the player and attacking her in a coordinated way. We'll also implement more advanced features like counter attacks in the system. So throughout this course, You'll learn lots of game programming skills. You'll learn lots of intermediate level C sharp concepts like generic classes, dictionary, link, inheritance, etc. And you'll also learn to use mathematical concepts like trigonometry, dot product, cross product, etc. while building the system. You'll learn to design gameplay systems while keeping the usability and scalability in mind. So the skills and techniques that you learn from this course will be really helpful for you if you want to pursue a career as a game programmer. All the models and animations used in this course are completely free. So you'll be able to follow along the course without spending any extra money. The course also comes with the completed combat system project. So you can use it as a reference while following along. So this course is not for absolute beginners. You have to know a little bit of Unity and C Sharp to be able to follow along. But if you know the basics, you should be good to go. So if this seems interesting to you, check out the link below to get the course for a discounted price of $13. So I hope I'll see you in the course.